The mid-course uh, five uh, was a maneuver to get back to the entry quarter. It was not a landing point control burn. It was just to get back into the entry quarter. Uh, the LEM computer was powered down. Of course, the command module was completely turned off. So we had to come up with a way to do a burn that was controlled enough to get us back to the entry quarter without using a lot of electrical power. What we did was the Earth has a day-night line we call the terminator. Uh, we would take the telescope and the limb and focus on the earth and line the terminator up in the crosshairs and that would put us in a proper attitude or direction to do the burn and then when the crew actually burned the engine based on a stopwatch, uh, Schweigert uh, timed the burn and level lit the engine and then when Schweigert said turn it off he turned it off and uh, we used that burn then to uh, steepen the trajectory to get back into the quarter. Just before mid-course five, the uh, people asked us, we need to move because Helen, again, may be where you're going. Uh, again, I felt like, gosh, this is a very critical burn. Uh, we need to get back in the corridor. The burn direction to do a maneuver to change the landing point was 90 degrees away, a completely different attitude, much larger delta V and had to be controlled with a completely different, different procedure. I really wasn't interested in doing that and knowing the size of hurricanes I, I in the back of my mind I had a plan that I would use if I had to without doing a burn. We could actually change the range from the point where the vehicle entered the atmosphere to where it touched down by the way we controlled the lift vector. So rather than do a burn for we weren't sure if the hurricane was going to be there or not and I finally got them to admit that they weren't sure where it was going to be, that uh, we had a, I had a plan that would allow us to get down and fly over the hurricane if we had to. And as it turns out, I think the hurricane was actually close to where they want us to go to retarget to. We continued to see the trajectory shallow as we, after mid-course five, it continued to shallow. Uh, we continued to pull our procedures together to get ready to do the entry. We had to put together a lot of checklist changes and read them to the crew. We didn't get those up until within a few hours of when the crew really needed to start using them. Uh, about seven hours prior to entry, the uh, LEM was started to be powered up and uh, the alignments. Turns out that there was a lot of debris around the vehicle. You couldn't see stars very well, which is what we normally use to align the, the uh, gyroscopes. Uh, I suggested, why don't we use the moon and the sun because They'll be easy to see, and sure enough, uh, we did that, and that worked out very well. And we got the LEM computer up and running. Uh, with the shallowing of the trajectory, uh, we had lots of things we had to do. We knew we had to do a mid-course, and we had to, of course, separate both, both the other vehicles. Uh, the timeline was very cramped. If we didn't get things done on time, and we didn't, uh, something caused us to get behind, we wouldn't be ready for re-entry. So we... We're trying to uh, be careful with making sure we got things done as we as we planned. Uh, the we did a mid course with the uh, LEM in the computer, uh, mid course seven we called it, and it was five hours prior to reentry, uh, and uh, that worked well. Although after that we still continued to shallow because we had the LEM attached to us and it was venting. And in addition, with all the additional equipment that was turned on. The water boiler was even boiling more water, and so it was causing us to deviate even more. Uh, when we did the mid-course seven, we were planned about two foot per second, and I said, hey, we ought to overburn it a little bit, overcompensate. So we did actually overburn a little bit to, uh, in case we were going to continue to shower, which we did until we got rid of the limb. Yeah. Well, we've, I really felt good about it. I felt a sense of satisfaction. And, uh, and I, everybody in the room felt the sense of satisfaction. Yes, we, we got it back and the chutes were out and the, and the thing was coming down and uh, we knew that we had gotten, we had done the best we could and we did get the crew back. Uh, I think the, the catastrophe that almost became us, didn't real, people didn't realize it until afterwards. You know, it's like an emergency. You, you do what you have to do and then when it's all over, you're, uh, you say, golly, we could have really gotten a lot of trouble. But... Uh, the catastrophe didn't occur and uh, we managed to uh, pull it off. And it was very, very satisfying.